Oh. Gotta shoot it. This actually might be super good in <laughs> Depends on how they tune it, to be honest. Well, that's, yeah, it's actually a lot of fun. Holy. <laughs> it's like a blizzard. Oh, yes, please. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> Finish the quest and see if that starts the catalyst, and then I'll be down to raid if you guys still want. It's like a pocket blizzard. Cool. The radius the seems super huge on it. The compass you carry is based off the same principles as this weapon. In Oldrin's hands, it could have connected every edge of my kingdom. Through Zivu Orath. It would grant an omnipresence within the reef even I could not subdue. Deliver it safely to me. While it may never be Aldrin's, it may yet serve to guide what he has become. I'm gonna check out this cutscene real quick and then... <laughs> Oh, I love so when they do these. To hear the rest of my brother's story. Fine. I will oblige you. When the storm came, Riga and Aga rode the winds to meet it. A fleet of talons at their back. A great battle ensued. The storm took, as was its nature. Many fell, Agar among them. Riga could only watch as he tumbled down, 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 until her heart beat alone. She dove into the storm, giving herself to destroy it. Oh. Riga's spirit ascended higher into the sky where she hoped to reunite with her brother. Instead, she met the thing that sent the storm. A bottomless well of grief, unreachable by reasoning, or bargaining, or violence. A voice in the darkness. And so, Riga gathered her feathers into an aegis of wings to shield the world below. But over the years, feathers broke away. Futility wore thin her resolve. Then, one day, her heart began to beat as it once had. Doubled, distant, but different. A beautiful echo. Hope called her home. And though she prayed to find Agar there, he never returned. That was kind of wild. A 
I still feel Aldrin's heartbeat somewhere out there. When your crow first stood in my halls, I saw an ember of my Aldrin burning in his breast. Curiosity and a sibling fondness told me I could stoke that ember. I hope it is not a lie. I hope he is more than the last ebb of hot ash from a long dead flame. Many of his faults were not of his own making. Aldrin's decisions were his, of course, but driven by whips in the hands of others. Myself included. I will have to offer him more than an old story of an empty promise if I wish to see that ember burn again. This is the path I led Aldrin down. If certain actors had kept to their roles, I would have wielded Aldrin Salve, Light Bearer. But even my Salve cannot control everyone. <laughs> I celebrate his resurrection in the light, but I detest seeing my brother rewritten, his greater self sloughed away and swept into the cellar. There is still good to draw from who he was. Don't squander it. He needs a star to guide him. Aldrin or Crow, they are the same in that regard. Agar's scepter is yours, then. Both its burden and the freedom it can provide. Be careful with it, Guardian. He is prone to devotion. Oh, that was cool. Quest is done. Let's go.